hello guys and welcome to the channel today i'm going to be doing major components of tax part three it's the tax expenses i'm going to be showing you how to do the disclosures i know a lot of students st struggle with this part of the disclosures but i'm going to simplify it for you enjoy so here's an example for you guys so we're going to be looking at the given information this is a trial balance this is our trial balance with all sorts of given information so trial balance right there so now the thing that you're going to have to first look for this is my step of how to go about this this kind of questions first look at the additional information that you're given to see if maybe you have been given the dtex deferred tax liability of the previous year now our current year ends 31 july 2012 that means our year begins at 1 august 20.11 right now okay now the company provides a deferred tax on all temporal differences you can see here the deferred tax balance on 31 this is the previous year end 31 july 20.11 arose as a result as a result of taxable temporal difference aha here is the answer they gave us this this amount as our deferred tax balance from the previous year end and now that means here we're going to come and look at for our deferred tax liability voila see it's 42,042 uh, <laughs> not so good with the figures when i pronounce them first like that okay now guys now since we've also we've we've gotten our given information now let's go and look for our ppes this is our plant 250 i hope you're writing this down so that you don't get confused when we do the calculation our land quickly write this one down at 70,000 you can highlight that and also our factory building at cost 600,000 uh, let's go and look at the depreciation on the factory building is 183 I mean 180,000 our accumulated depreciation for the year so this is from the period beginning 1 August uh, 20.11 to 31 July 20.12 uh, okay another thing that we're going to be looking at our prepayments remember guys this is only uh, the income tax note disclosure we're not looking at getting this information into a statement of financial position or anything like that our last bit that we have to look at is our profit before tax is given at thirty thousand. you can always rewind the video to get these figures in case that in case you miss out on some of them then our tax basis have already been calculated at the year end equal these amounts 240 for them for the factory building and uh, 133 this is our deferred tax balance sorry this is our tax base for our ppe 133 100 and there's a total of 373 now land there is no allowance on there's no allowance claimable on land right land basically does not depreciate our tax rate is at 28 percent for the previous year and the current year now this is how we go about the calculations we first have to calculate our deferred tax balances for our ppe at the end of the year now remember our plant our factory building was bought for six hundred thousand and there was an accumulated depreciation of 183,000. thus the carrying amount at the end of the year for the factory building is 420,000. The tax base from the given information we've already given so there's no need to calculate that if you minus this from your calculator we get 180 that's the temporal difference and then if you do your 28 percent and you get your deferred tax you get 50,400. the reason why we are labeling this as a deductible as a, as a liability it is because our carrying amount for an asset remember the rules is greater than our tax base so that leads to a uh, tax liability in the future so that's why we have this in brackets it means that it's a liability it's not an asset now if you quickly go and look at our plant the same thing at plant at cost 250,000 accumulated depreciation at 70,000 you put that on your calculator quickly gives us 180,000 right you don't really need to write these rules when you're doing your calculation this, this is just for explanation and our tax base fortunately we've been given it's been calculated for us not only not, it's not always going to be calculated for you but in this case it's been calculated you quickly do that on the calculator you get 446,900 you do the deferred uh, tax uh, 
multiplication 28 percent it gives you 13,132 still this is a asset so the, the occurring amount of an asset is greater than the tax base leads to a deferred tax liability this is tax payable in the future this is why we have this uh brackets here so that is deferred it's it's a liability so it's payable in the future now remember we also had our prepayments right prepayments of 30,000 rands, right? So if you have your prepayments and or you have your income received in advance, those items do not have a tax base. That's just a simple way of looking at it, right? So you're going to have the same deferred tax balance of the 30,000. Remember the prepayment is still an asset. So it's greater than your, still greater than your tax uh, base. You have to go and deferred tax it, gives us 8,000. 400 so the total amount for our deferred tax is 71,932 i hope you're writing this down guys and this is our temporal difference right in this case our temporal difference is deductible okay no, sorry it's not deductible it's taxable right it's taxable so now for the second part of our calculations if you remember we did we did we did an example on how to look at the income tax expense. Now we're going to start here. We're going to look at the movement of the deferred tax uh, from the previous financial year to the current year. So our deferred tax liability from the previous year we were given, remember, from the given information, they gave us um, a deferred tax balance of a temporal difference of 150,150. And a deferred tax balance. This is basically just the 28% of this amount. It gives us 42,042 rands. Right. So if you do 28% of this amount, it's basically going to give us this. This is what we were given. So now on our side, the calculations that we did for the current year end. Remember, we have our we have our 71,932 for the current year end. This is what we have here, and our our movement in temporal difference the 256,900 this is what we have here so all you do guys here is to minus the opening balance from the closing balance and this is going to give us 29,890 on this one same thing here with the given one and the one we calculated it's going to give us 106,750 this is just a balancing figure this is our balancing figures now that we've got this sorted we're going to come and calculate our taxable income for the year. The first step is always to get your deferred tax balances right. And now that we got those right, we look at the taxable income for the year. Now this one, is, it's just a matter of taking what you've been given. The profit before tax that we're given is 227,000. That's the amount there. And remember our format, like I mentioned on the previous video, we have to first look at the exempt differences. In this case, we've got dividends, which is not taxable of 10,000. This is why we have to remove it from the profit before tax. And we've got uh, fines paid. So fines are not deductible. So they'll still have to be included in the profit before tax. So profit after exempt differences is, is 219,500, right? Less the movement. Now, this is where the deferred tax calculation that we calculated earlier on less uh, movement in temporal difference of 106,750 this is the amount this is where we're going to take this amount and we slowly yeah we put it there and then this is where we can get our taxable income for the year since the temporal difference has been removed we multiply this amount by 28 percent the 28 percent to get our current tax expense which is 31,570 so this is the amount that is going to appear on the note or the disclosure now for further illustration here our our movement in temporal difference basically consists of the depreciation which we're given at 85,000 and the tax allowance less the tax allowance which still were given on the information less the prepayments right so you add the depreciation you less the prepayments because they're deductible for tax purposes and the tax allowance gives us 106,750 which is still the same amount as the movement 
of temporal differences. So this is just a way, an additional way of proving the movement of temporal difference just to reconcile the amounts, just to make sure that you've got the right amount. Now guys, we're almost at the end. I do understand this is a quite a detailed example. So now for this example, for this uh, solution, this is how you are supposed to disclose it. This is your note, uh, your income tax note. Now, number one, our income tax note, we have the major components of tax. Remember the current tax expense, uh, which we calculated 31,570. This is the this is the final figure that we, we calculated. And we have our deferred tax expense, which is basically the movement in temporal differences, right? It's basically just the 28% that we calculated previously. You can refer back to that calculation. So this is our current tax expense for the year. Now, we also have to do a reconciliation. But the reconciliation will still be the same amount as this one. So we have to tax all these items. So our standard rate of tax on the profit given before tax is 20, 20, 227,000. We tax that by 28%, gives us this amount in rents or in percentages. This is the amount, but I'm gonna be focused on the rents. Our dividends receive our dividends received of 10,000, which is deductible, 28% of 10,000 is 2,800, which we still have to remove just like we did on the previous example. On the previous uh, workings, you can refer back to that because, guys, with this one, I know you're you're going to have to refer uh, to the previous calculations and play the video, post the video a lot, so uh, so you, that you can understand. So the tax on the fines, twenty eight percent, it's not deductible. So you see, this gives us sixty one thousand four hundred and sixty, same amount as what we got here. These two always have to be the same if they're not the same that means there's something that you did wrong on either end right now the last part is our deferred tax again remember guys a notes a notes a notes to financial statements is just a disclosure it's not any new calculations right so our analysis of temporal difference will look something like this our deferred tax this is where i start i like to start at the deferred tax liability of 71,932. This is where I always start regardless of the amount because we've already calculated the uh, the the deferred tax liability. So you might as well just start by writing it out, right? So whatever calculation you're going to be doing here, we'll have to add up to this number. Remember we've got our prepayments for 88,400. 8, this is the ones after tax because there were 30,000 and then after the the taxing, we've got them at 8,400. And the accelerated capital allowances for tax purposes. This is from our building. And the other one is going to be coming from our plant. Our plant. This is also coming from our, our plant. The amount of 13,132. So this is the deferred tax on the on the building. And this is the deferred tax on the plant. Which is still the same amount as the one that we got previously because this is just a confirmation basically so guys i hope you understood everything yeah if there's something you don't understand you can leave a comment on the comment section or you can just replay the video so that you can have a better understanding now this brings us to the end of the major components of tax series uh, i really enjoyed doing this one with you guys uh, if there's anything that you don't understand like i said just hit the comment section there leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, i'll be seeing you next time bye bye